Hey, we're gonna tweak your denim to give it a lived in look. This is super easy. Originally, I was gonna give you some super easy tips to give your denim a really cool lived in look, but then I remembered, I don't know how to do that. So I'm gonna let Allison take this segment and uh, you're gonna teach me a thing. Okay, too. yeah, because since he usually dominates in the kitchen, uh, Dominates uh, is such a, I don't like that word. Okay, since he rules in the kitchen, since he's truly an expert in the kitchen, a chef, uh, and I have an expertise in the fashion. So a little DIY, it's super easy, but we're gonna show you how to cut off the hem and just do a little bit of a fray on a jean. And then I'm gonna show you how to create kind of a lived in bit of a hole uh, in the sleeves of your shirt. You can do the same thing on the end of your shirt, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on the sleeves. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Okay, so Allison, what do you need to get this project rolling? Okay, so just really three tools are all you need. A sharp pair of scissors, and not the pair that you use every day. This is a pair that you kind of set aside for any kind of DIY projects. My mom had a fancy pair of scissors yes. like that. We weren't uh, allowed to touch it. I mean, really, seriously, I've got even like a little tie around it, so everyone knows do not use it for everyday projects. Fancy scissors. Yes, it even has a cover. Then a Dremel, and this is something you're gonna get at a hardware store. It has lots of different tops to it, depending on what you need it for, but it's generally kind of like a, a kind of sander. Oh, okay. And then a nitpick. Now, Allison, I don't like you calling yourself negative names. You are not a nitpick. You are, you're highly organized, and you have an eye for detail, but right. I want to call you a nitpick. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, this is your nitpick, and it's pronged, <laughs> and you actually use it usually to repair knit fabrics that have holes, but we're gonna use it when we're trying to fray the hem of the jeans. Got it. Let's get to it. Okay, so for the sleeve, we want to create this kind of warmed in hole on the sleeve. And I'm not going to use scissors because the scissors will create too much of a, a straight line. So I'm just going to use my Dremel. And you hear that. And you want to hold your fabric in place. And you're just going to rub it lightly. So this is what gives it that lived in look, like, like you've had this shirt for years and it's just kind of getting worn but you don't want to give it up. So what I want to do here is on the trim is I want to create just like a little bit of a worn fraying on the hems, the cuffs of the shirt. So I'm going to turn this on. Safety first, don't forget your goggles, everyone. These are my onion cutting glasses, but they work for the same thing. All right, so we frayed a little bit of the sleeve, giving little bits of holes, so then you're gonna pop it in the washing machine and it'll start opening up and get really soft. And then we did both cuffs, just kind of frayed them away a little bit. So it looks like it's really been worn in for years. Okay, so how do we do these? Okay, so this is where we're gonna take the hem and use our other two tools your sharp scissors and your nitpick. And you're going to cut off the hem and then use your nitpick to start pulling out the threads and that's what's gonna create your frayed edge. So that will look cool with like boots and stuff. Yeah, right? I mean, even just like sneakers, flip flops, anything, just to create that more kind of bohemian style. So I've cut the hem of these things off, and now we like this fringe is starting a little here. So how do we how do we get this roll? You're gonna use your nitpick, okay. and you're gonna kind of just dig it into just above where that hem was, and you're gonna start pulling at fabric. So that way it starts creating what you can pull, so you can get uh. those loose threads. Now essentially you could put this in the washing machine, and it'll slowly start fringing, but it's gonna take a lot more time. So we want to nudge it to that effect. A little nudging. Yeah. That's cool. All right, final reveal. So I used that Dremel and I created some small holes and a little fraying of the fabric and the threads popping out. I did the same thing just above the cuff, 
frayed the cuff, did the same thing on the other side. You can see a little bit of a hole has emerged. And then I've just been touching some of the fabric to just start fraying away and softening it. So I now have a denim shirt with a true lived in look. I found actually I'm spending a lot of money to do it. Check these out, pretty cool, pretty cool. Hey, so that was a super easy way to tweak your denim to make it look lived in. And make yourself feel just a little cooler. And if you like this friend adventure, then please subscribe to our channel today. Like it, comment below, and share it. And you know what? We'll see you real soon.